the indentation behind me over there. Well, this place in Worthing is called Sisbury Ring. We think it's a hill fort, but we're going to take the dogs up and have a look. I'm not quite sure. When I find out what it is, I'll let you know. But apparently, it's quite nice to wander around. <laughs> we're going to get there. Right, yeah, we're at the bottom. <laughs> I'm going to take the high path up there. Go down the bottom, and then well, I'm sure the dogs are going to be okay. I know Jack's a little young still, but slowly. yeah, we'll go nice and steady. Um, make sure that she doesn't get injured or anything. It is a hill fort. fort. Um, it's an ancient. I mean, I don't know if you well prehistoric flint mine, and it, uh, it's got an amazing vantage point as you can see. Jack's back on the lead because I'm not sure how she will behave towards the ponies. These are new forest ponies which have been introduced to the area so that they can keep the grass down and keep all the shrubs down. Ooh. That's Worthing Pier behind us and that's Jack. We've just been for some fish and chips, cod, beer, battered cod or something like that. It's just been really nice. I'm gonna get an ice cream, then we're gonna go back to the caravan. Say goodbye, Joy. She can't speak yet. We just came to the back of Worthing Pier, um, Pier and there's like lots of um, areas you can see where people are fishing. But what surprised me was all the fish in the water under the pier is absolutely chock of locked with them. I have no idea what they are, but it's good news for this for this part of the waters. Can we go fishing, Mum? No. And this is what happens when I sleep next to a pup and you've got an older dog who's getting really jealous, even though she doesn't really want to sleep at the side of you. She's digging away, trying to make herself a nest. Trying to get as close as you can just because she wants to, yeah. She wants to kind of go around the back of my head. Thanks for that, Dan. In week one or two, Daniel and I came here in the car and I showed you um, the castle in Arundel in the distance. And now, with Mummy and Belle and Jack, Lanky Jack, um, we're having a look around the town. We've just seen some very interesting antique second-hand places very friendly very dog friendly and we're going to go into what he says is the town center but we have to go further up see the town is really nice very very sparse isn't it shops all over the place it's lovely yeah. really nice very quiet very quaint yeah it's like there's no river bank to walk on maybe unless it's that green bank over there yeah so this is the riverside walk as far as i understand it and we went all the way to town but actually this is quite nice um we'll have to explore this some other day i think because jack's gonna be very tired we've been walking for quite a long time now up hills and everything i've got to be very careful of her feet and um this one at the back she's just recouping her energy <laughs> all right we're gonna sit down and everyone can enjoy it is it room and raisin Strawberry cream, ice cream. Go, 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 go. Fetch it, Jake, fetch it. Fetch it all, fetch it. Not here. Be running with Belle to try and find the ball, silly. Come on. We're on our way from Worthing from the campsite to 
Eastbourne and then we just saw this lovely little river at the side of us to our left, you can't see, and then there's a pub behind us and then um, we saw this little dog walk and I'm just going to take a ride down there, walk down there and see what's there, oh shit, we're in Seaford, that's where we are and then there's a, a lovely little river what runs down the side there and then one at the left just there and right behind us um, I think you can get to the coast because I can see some cliffs so we're going to walk and see how far we can go Straight into the mud eh Jake? Yeah, oh god and I've brought her down here because there's people walking on that path and she's got a tendency to jump up still Justin. Jack down. Down, down, down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good girl. Come on, well, it's not that easy to get to. It's like a walk. What would you say, about a mile and a half? I suppose it's not that far from the road. But, I mean, it is. Pretty amazing. There's a lot of people here on a Saturday. A lot of people come to see. You've got the cliffs over at that side, and then white cliffs there, and then over here behind me, you can see a lot of slightly discoloured cliffs. It's great. Just walk down to the sea and have a look. Boat exploring. Let's see what you like. And over here. Oh, hello, Jack. This morning I was looking at the map of places to go and I was thinking that looks amazing and there was a house with some white cliffs behind it and then we ended up stopping walking all the way down here and if you look over where the house is just to the right it's some green and the photo which I saw was from that green facing the house where there was white cliffs behind. <laughs> Tide's really coming in now and she's having a poo. Thanks for that Jack. We're just driving to Eastbourne. I'm sorry about the big sticky thing in the window, um, but you can get a little idea of what we're driving down into. It's very pretty. And I think we're coming along the seafront. If I, if I remember. No, this is Eastbourne. So we're in Eastbourne now. Little palm trees, the UK. Why not? Well, I think it's okay. This is the main road. Yeah, well, yeah, promenade on our right hand side. And this is the road going across the seafront. So we've come to this nice little restaurant. Uh, you can see the pier behind us. And we've ordered two burgers. Burger. Little things I don't. Guess who's going? I'm very sad. <laughs> well, yeah. I've had a lovely time. Six days. Now I'm sad to see her go. That means I have to be by myself for a few hours until Daniel gets here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get out the got, caravan. Have you got mm -hmm. Jack's lead? In the car. Come on, Bounce. Come on, let's go. I don't want to do an anti Christine. I feel quite sad. She's been here for such a long time. I'll get up there. I'll I'll travel up in the next few months or something. I'm maybe I'll even get there for Christmas. But because Daniel's been really daft with his um, with his times at work, I don't know if he's got enough time. But I can always pop down for a few months before, or a few days, or a week or something before Christmas. I just turned around at the bottom of the road before I was parking because I hit a freaking bird and it came out of the tree, it hit, well it came onto the floor, I swerved and then I heard this ding and I was like oh my god but I saw this car, I was like what is it, saw this car pull up at the side of the road at the side of the bird, I don't know if it flew off, I don't know if I squashed it, I don't know anything, I drove back up to see if I could see it, the car's gone. Oh God, it's not a nice feeling when you do something like that. Mate, I should have stopped straight away, but the cars were behind me. Um, I'm gonna drive back down and see if I can see it. Ooh, well, hopefully it's okay.
And he just came literally out of the tree, straight onto the road. I'm gonna drive really slowly. Maybe the guy picked it up and took it to the vet, or I don't know. I mean, what are you supposed to do, but... Anyway, okay, I hope it's okay. Oh, that's all I can tell, I hope it's okay. I don't know if it is or not. Well, I'm back on the beach with the girls. After just leaving my mum. And possibly killing a bird. <laughs> such a handy beach to come to it's only what i don't know eight minutes drive from the caravan oh god that sun on your chest it's really warm i mean we're talking october tomorrow brilliant mind you nobody else is wearing jackets i'm just wearing a t-shirt daniel arrived last night and we are well i went on google this morning to have a look at some places but i haven't visited and one of the places which i saw will look quite interesting was some ponds i really love this we ended up Stopping at a place, we just saw this car park and well, it looks like a very sweet area. area. There's like um, somewhere to get something to eat behind us, and apparently, this place here um, is called White Waste Countryside Site. Jack, <laughs> looks like it's on a hill or something, doesn't it? Look at this, like. Like a really old tree, that one. Six. Six. The, the, the walk's like up and down, and we're not talking like little hills, we're talking like mountains. Well, they are, well, not mountains, but you hills. know what I mean. They are hills, big hills. And then we're, um, we're going back down again for the fourth time. And then apparently, well, Daniel said that there's some water at the end. Um, well, let's... Like a pond. Is there? Like a lake stuff. Oh, let's have a look. If we can... That's if... Well, he's got it on his map. So hopefully we can um, find it. And... Oh, wow. Wow. This is the huge pond, what he said. He found for the dogs going to a little woody area. And look, what's that, Daniel? A, a lake. Yeah, it's not a lake. Beautiful thatched. Oh, it's one here. There's a few parts right there as well. I wouldn't mind living here. I don't know why I'm so tired, but anyway, we're at my favourite place, Aldi, and. Um, We'll go in and go and get some food and get some eggs. What else? Oh, yes, yeah, some eggs and some breakfast for tomorrow. Maybe some food tonight. It's like, do you know, everybody looks at you, it's like, What are you filming? Why are you filming me? I'm not filming you. I was trying to do some editing this morning and then I realized I did not have enough space, so I had to delete loads of stuff off that big computer and there's still not enough so I'm going to have to get another external drive to put all these videos in for the past five weeks and then I forgot but I said to the, the wardens at the caravan club that I will look at his computer so Daniel's taking us off for a walk and I'm going to chill in front of my screens we did have plans to go to the beach and the was went out the window we um, had something to eat and then just I don't know, we just went to bed and we just stayed in bed. Um, Daniel took the dogs out, just around the caravan park, and that's it. And then comes to the beach. You are? Take her. No. Hey, Bill. We're heading back from the caravan today. Um, don't really want to go, but I've got some work to do at home and I've got a lot of things to sort out. Quite sad, but I think I'll be back here on Monday. Hey Jake, what do you want? Daniel's doing a lot of the work. He should have got up and made me breakfast, which he didn't. So I woke him in a bit of a bad mood because soon I've been making him breakfast every day since he's been here. Um, so we'll be back in a few hours anyway, and then I'll get on my day in London. Look at that huge amount of clothes washing, and Jack's laid around right the top of it. Are you comfortable, Jack? Are you comfortable? <laughs> yeah, we obviously we got back and it was like tons of washing with my mum at the time we spent in the caravan. Um, get it washed and get it back in the bag ready to take again at the weekend. 
and today I am eventually going to finish off all my edits and try and get them online. Um, I haven't even set up a YouTube account for this, so let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to keep going because the edits aren't going to be amazing. It's gonna, it is a video blog of every day, so I'm going to throw it together, hopefully it's going to be interesting.